Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be going over how to contour. It definitely helps to eliminate some of the things that we don't like to see on like everyday basis. So I'm gonna help you guys with some tricks and tips on slimming down some of these features that we don't like so much. I'm gonna show you both with concealer, foundation, and cream foundation, how to contour before you even put the powder on. And then I'm gonna show you how I contour with just my blush, bronzer, and powder. So I want you to know both ways. Typically, I'll be honest with you, I do not do both of these every day. That's, that's truly ludicrous. I really don't do it honestly unless I am going out otherwise no like I like the results just as much from bronzer and blush and highlighter and powder as I do from having the cream foundation and then layering it on so I'm gonna show you both because why not knock them both out but I just want to let y'all know either one is awesome now I've already gone ahead and did my eyes because I like to do my eyes before I do anything to my face so much easier to clean up I'm gonna take one of my foundation brushes I personally love these rounded boar bristle brushes. I think they're amazing. They're literally so easy to work with and they're so soft. I'm going with the crown uh, foundation. Seriously, one pump won't be more than enough. It kind of drizzles, so I just kind of let it do what it's gonna do, not like get a whole glob, but more space it out a little bit and spreads it on the brush and spreads it on your face a little bit better. I'm gonna go in and just kind of put a little bit over here, put a little bit over here. And then I'll go out and blend this a little bit better. Now once I've got it uh, pretty spread out, kind of like this, a little bit of everywhere, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend it. And just cover the whole face now. So I'm gonna go in with Crown, their 15 cream foundation palette. Amazing. I'm gonna get a little bit of this and a little bit of this. A little bit of the red hue, a little bit of the matte, more ashy hue, and I just got it at the tip of my brush. A little really, really, really goes a long way with this stuff because it is cream. So just get more as you go. That way you don't risk doing too much. I always go to the top of the ear and not too much further than like the end of my eyelid. Let me kind of zoom in and show you guys. Um, when I contour, I go from the top of my ear down mid cheek and kind of blend it here. I never blend down. I'd much rather blend up. So I'm going to go in with my brush and just kind of flick up. until it's nice and blended. Already that's looking much nicer. Okay. And now you can see that this side is not near as flat as this side is. You can see my natural cheekbone over here, but it's just still kind of so round because I have the biggest cheeks in the world. But that's okay, because over here, it's helping a sister out. So already, just with those two moves, I have so much more dimension to my face. We're gonna go in with the same colors now. And we're just gonna kinda go around our face to slim it out. And on this side, same thing. It doesn't have to be a lot of product. You don't have to go balls to the wall and like paint your face like a damn warrior, you know? It's, if you're scared to give it a go, get a palette where you can play a little bit, you can mix the colors, like, if you're like, ooh, this may be too dark, or ooh, I need something more in the middle, mix them. Like, 
concoct your own. That's one of my favorite things about what I do is all the colors that I get to create that aren't given to me on a platter. Okay, so I've blended that at the top. I'm gonna go in, same two colors, of course. And this is where I'm really gonna start to kind of get rid of all of this going on down here. Have y'all ever seen the movie White Chicks? Um, you know that scene in the dressing room where she's like, back fat Betty, and going on about all of her um, flaws. Back then I gave my neck the name Nancy. Nancy the talking neck, just because my family has like, been cursed with these like jugglers and I mean there's nothing I can do about it except for get skinnier but I'll tell you what my sister's skinnier than I am and she, her ass still has the same flaws it runs deep in the family but that's all right I'm gonna show you how to fix it you're gonna go on down here and we're just gonna kind of draw out a line and go grab a little bit more. You don't want to be looking crazy. You don't want to have that like super harsh, dark, you know. It's better to build up than have too much build up from the get. Right there on that natural crease. Okay. Building up. And blend it. Is it gonna make your neck disappear? No, it's not. If you're like me and you naturally have some stuff going on, it is what it is, okay? You can't fix that, but you can make it less noticeable. So that's what I'm going for here. Now I'm gonna go in with just the more, the first color that we use, the little bit lighter one, because you don't wanna be too harsh. So my face is already really starting to like come out and be enhanced. So I'm gonna go in with a different brush now because that one's dirty. And I'm gonna go in right here with the highlighting. Right up in that T-zone. And I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. Now if I grab my other brush, most people, and I will show this, I don't have a very big nose so I hardly ever contour it, but when I do, it's to the side and that's gonna make it slim on down a little bit. And so now we've got the bridge of the nose and highlighter and the edges of my nose in the darker color and then whenever I blend this all out, it's gonna give my nose a little bit more shape. I am going to go in now with my concealer. This is Kick Ass by Soap and Glory in Light. And I'm going to go ahead and cover underneath my eyes with that concealer. And then I also like to do right above my lip to kind of help my lips look juicier once I do put some lip stuff on. And then a little X on the chin. I'm gonna use the same brush that I was using for my lighter contour. We'll go ahead and blend this out. It's good to look down and look up. get under your eyes. Okay, now that I've got this underneath my eyes, 
I am not gonna blend just yet. I'm still waiting. I want to go ahead and uh, bake my under eyes while the rest of my face is gonna get blended. I'm taking my Sorme in medium, translucent loose powder, and I am simply going to just pat that underneath my eyes where I just placed my concealer. Now it's important not to be like, oh, eyebrows. You're gonna cause more wrinkles underneath your eyes than you may already have. So I know I have them. Um, there's not much I can do about it. I would tell you put a cold spoon, but does it work that great? It depends who you ask. Everything's about perspective, isn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and place this powder under here. If you look way too pale for yourself, you did it right. Awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and do the blending. Going up with our highlighter, more into the jawline. Down here, we can blend that. Looking pretty good. Okay, so everything's pretty well blended now, except for the powder underneath from the baking. But you can see, I already have so much more like dimension to my face. Like, it's not just a flat golden mask like what it was when I first started. Now I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of brush all that away. Make it a little bit more what's left in my lid to cover the rest of my face. And there we go. I'm gonna go in with my bron bronzer. I'm gonna use the Balm Cosmetics Betty Luminizer. Kind of same traces that you were doing, only you'll notice this kind of pops a little bit more. Barely any product, y'all. Seriously, that was it. And as you'll notice, I'm still not going much further in than my eye, really keeping that shape still. I'm not bringing that down too much. I'm not bringing it down into all the work that I've done down here already. You're not trying to make your cheek look wider, so it's important to keep this nice glow. You don't want to bring it too far in where you're looking um, like a Skeletor or something. Like You want to look like you. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush. Use the Crown 12 Slot Highlighter and Blush Palette. I love it. I love it. I like to kind of make my own colors, so I mixed two different ones today to make the color I'm about to show you guys. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to stick with one. You can create. You can be creative. I want you to be creative. Like, get passionate about it. Just do make colors man it's so much fun so anyways with this i use like a really light pink and actually more of a purpley tone so we'll see how this turns out when you find that apple of the cheek just kind of right there and back you don't want to go straight up on your bronzer or anything you know you've already got that blend going so now we're just accentuating those cute little cheeks Same thing here. I usually go a couple of coats on it. Man, what a difference already. There's so much more color to my face. I really, I hate when I see just flat. Ugh, it makes me so upset. It makes me feel like these women are beautiful. 
why not take the extra few steps? If you don't want to contour with foundation, that's totally fine, man. But at least throw on some bronzer on those cheekbones. Like, come on. Or at least add some blush, preferably both. Do you need to be the highlighter queen of the world and like show this like cheek every single little move? No. Do you want to make your face look a little bit more glowy? Great, let's highlight it. This is the Crown Pro Brush C507. I like it a lot. I am using uh, Mary Luminizer. I'm just gonna kind of dabble right here on the top of my cheek. Now y'all see that? Of course you do, it's amazing. So I'm gonna blend it in a sec. You're gonna go in, continue to pat a little. I have a little bit more on my brush, so I'm just gonna take that down here and pat a little bit more. I don't like to highlight too much underneath my cheekbone. It's already got that awesome look. So there's just not too much that's needed. Over here, do the same thing, kind of pat above. You can see it kind of going on. With highlighter, I do think you can go too far, okay? I know everyone's like, glow! But I think that there's a limit, okay? If you're just going to work, you don't need to look like you're about to walk the red carpet, in my personal opinion. If you want to, girl, you do it. You go to Walmart looking like you go under the red carpet. Ain't nobody gonna judge you here. I'm just saying, in my tutorial, I don't personally think it's necessary to be like the glow queen of the world all the time. Now we're gonna go back through here and just kind of blend it out. Real quick motions, just kind of blend that line out. And now you can see like that harsh line isn't there anymore. Am I glowing today? Hell yes, I'm glowing today. I'm going to work. But my profession is not sitting at a desk and typing. So a full-time job as a hairstylist running my own shop. So after this, I'll be going to work and I want to look good for my clients and I want my clients to also look good too. So hopefully y'all are learning something. Blend that out. You can also go in with your bronzer. And hit that neck again. And there we go. That's all the contouring we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lips and put a couple more <laughs> layers of mascara on so y'all can see the final look. And that's it, I'm all done. As you can see, my neck is not near as noticeable, my worst flaw over here. Um, everything else is highlighted right where it needs to be and lifted up. If you liked this tutorial and you wanna learn more, please subscribe with me now, give me a thumbs up, and share, please share. The best form of a compliment is sharing. Tune in for hair and makeup videos every single week.